Hello friends, I welcome all of you. In this video, we'll see how to install the Eve NG software on the bare metal server. Means I have an empty server. It is of Asus company with two processors of 20 cores each. That is 40 cores and there are two virtual cores in each physical core. So it means it will have 80 vCPUs. 256 GB RAM of 2400 frequency. We are not installing it on Windows. That is why I named it as bare metal server. We are not installing it on the ESXi. Let's see how to do it. So I have taken the console. That is a KVM console. Let me give you some information about this server. It has three ports. One is for MGMT that is management. And there are two for LAN. LAN 1 and LAN 2. So since you simply need to install it, the requirement is that you should have monitor, keyboard, USB drive, it should have the EVNG software which you can download from the EVNG website okay, and it should be bootable one. Bootable means uh, the moment you connect it, your server should boot from here. And how to make it bootable? You can search in Google, but I would recommend you using this, this software named Rufus. You install this application and use this software to make it bootable. Then you simply plug this USB into this server and then press F8 key once it starts. And the most important thing is you should have internet connectivity. It means that these two ports, this one or this one, it should have the internet connectivity so you connect your monitor if you have it otherwise if you don't have it then you use this management lan interface to connect it using the ip address most of the time this management speed has capability of 10 slash 100 slash 1000 mbps but uh, in this lan 1 and lan 2 most of the times these will be 1 gbps capable Okay, so if you have a wireless router that doesn't support 1 Gbps, then your LAN 1 and LAN 2 will not get the internet connectivity. So use a high-end Wi-Fi router. Otherwise, you can make it work. Don't worry. Okay, but you, you cannot connect it to PCs right now. You cannot access internet using PCs. You, you need to connect it to ISP directly or Wi-Fi router. So let's get started. I have taken the console of this KVM. KVM is a method with which you can remotely access a server even if it's powered on. You just need to connect the main power supply. Even if server is not booting, you will still access this. So what I've done is on the management interface, I have connected a Wi-Fi router and I have configured this range 0 slash 0 slash 24 and on the LAN which will be used for uh, internet. I have used this subnet 100.0 slash 24. So this is only for me, but make sure that you should have internet connectivity. So this server does have it. Let me delete. This is the server, this management console. Let me refresh it. It has opened the KVM. Let me first close it and show you how actually you have to access for the first time. It will give you this window login with admin and admin password. Click on this remote control, click on the launch KVM. So right now it is showing us powered off. Let me power it on. You have to go on this power, power on server. Okay. And you have to connect the USB without USB. Things will not work and it should be bootable. So let me write it once more bootable USB. It should have the Eve and G software. It should be downloaded from the site. I have already done so bootable you can make it using rufus software rufus so let's get started power on server it is getting powered on you must be hearing a sound press the f8 key it will give you message so with the f8 key you will get the prompt to choose the uh, bootable media i'll use usb mine is hp usb you see that the ip address to the management is mentioned there it refers it as lan1 but it's basically for management I have already connected the keyboard. You see the total memory it is showing. I'm using KVM only for recording purposes. You don't need to do it. Simply plug in your monitor and keyboard USB. Sit next to it. Give it a while. 
now it is showing hp v220 it gave a message that enter pop up menu you have to press enter sometimes you keep on pressing the f8 key it will not yield any result so this is the bootable media click here press hit enter now it will boot using that evng see it is saying that install evng community press enter whatever was there in my server will be deleted it will prompt me a message it will give these error messages don't worry about this because this is a virtualization software it will take 5 minutes uh, now but overall this process will take 2 hours now it says no error found this error message failed and mounting cd rom is fine okay now it is asking for language i'll use english uk hit enter and then it says and hit enter to press now second step it is asking about the lan interfaces you see that this is the first one the mac address 9150 so it is showing us connected so now it is giving a reference about the lan interface not the management one okay. we can choose to create a bond so this one is second lan not connected this is the first lan you can use a tab button once you navigate to this click on this and you may choose to check the info info means it will give you the idea what is the ip address configured you see 100.147 is the ethernet okay, internet connectivity is very important if you want to make it uh, static then again i uh, use tab to navigate to it right now it is set to dscp dscp is easy dynamic host configuration protocol click on this if you want to make it static do you want to make it static press enter static means manually you will have to define the manual static ip right i will cancel it i don't want it else you may choose to now since the ip has already been allocated i will not configure any static ip i'll go on to this done now it is asking about a proxy address i don't want to set up any proxy i'll click hit enter it is saying that everything will be deleted once you start this process i'll say okay i'm okay with that i'll use tab continue yes now it is starting to configure it will take some time maybe 30 minutes keep an eye on the messages which are popping up on the screen on the top you will see red color it's orange color here on the monitor it says red color <laughs> installing system okay now it is installed but it is updating because it already has the connectivity to the internet so it is automatically downloading the required updates because the software is uh, developers keep on updating so it is installing all the updates that's why you are seeing this message cancel update and reboot i don't want to cancel it i'll keep it on so it is installed it will press tab and will reboot and i'm pressing it reboot okay it is telling us to remove the installation media give me a moment i have removed that usb the bootable one and now i need to press enter so it will now reboot once more because we didn't remove the media don't worry give it a while you can also visit their website there would be document which you can refer so i didn't tell you that i am installing community version they have outlined the process of each version so this is for free community version i'll repeat once more once i reach near to that option since the server is booting it is creating lot of noise it is normal now it is verifying the network connectivity you see that it is verifying dns reached target network means it is successfully able to reach the website evng so earlier it installed ubuntu now it is trying to download the updates which are required so i think it's ubuntu 20.2 series so till now we have been doing ubuntu installation in the document everything is mentioned but i am showing it visually sometimes some things are omitted uh, intentionally and in case you have to assign static ip for the lan then make sure that you define the dns servers as well like let me mention it here i don't want you to get confused anywhere static ip you know like let's say i have defined this ip to my workstation ip is 101 and on the server you can choose to have a similar ip 100.147 like in my case and gateway yes it is very important 100.1 in my case you can check whatever the gateway is assigned by your isp most likely it will be the first ip address 
and mask most likely it will be 255.255.255.0 and dns servers you can use these 8.8.8.8 comma 4.2.2 comma 8.8.4.4 if it ask for domain you can use google.com so these are the things you can choose to mention let's see where we are right now so it is downloading it also depends upon the internet speed like mine is not very good right now it is only 20 mbps but if you have higher speed and you are sitting near to the location where this data is hosted then it will be very fast server is pretty decent right now with me it has moved forward now it is installing all of the components which it downloaded earlier it is done now it is rebooting so thereafter we'll log in the default username will be root and password will be eve e v e so you can do ssh to the ip address this is showing the management ip address with which we are accessing and thereafter we should be able to ping the lan interface let me open the terminal right now it is not pinging because server is coming up okay let it come up now it is powering on see now this ping is working it means that it has activated its lan services okay so now it is prompting us to enter username password it is done i told you root is the username password is eve it is telling us to reset the password of root let's set a new password i'll make it same only eve -E, tab okay now again eve -E, tab the cursor comes on okay the name i'll make it as evng ashish tab okay i mean i have to hit enter dns domain you can make it as google.com uh, do you want to use static or dynamic actually it is repeating the step which we followed earlier I don't want static, I'll just uh, use uh, this DHCP, hit enter, type the hostname IP address of NTP, NATO time protocol, time.windows.com, but I don't think it will work, let me see, proxy server, no, I don't want, hit enter, it is rebooting once more, this is normal, thereafter we will be able to access it using IP address like my workstation is part of the same network i will use putty to access but since i am on this mac i'll use terminal i can simply do ssh and then space the ip address but it will take my laptop username as default one so i have to use minus l and define the username this is the way we define the username and uh, one nine two one six eight hundred dot what is the ip of this one forty seven i'll hit enter but first of all let it reboot the entire process will take around two hours it may take less if you are sitting in us because these servers are hosted in us now it is saying enter username password i'll say root i can choose to access it over ip address as well you can see temperature is 54 degree and uh, usage this ssd is of 2 tb almost nothing is being used so let me access it from terminal it is saying the key is already there so i'll let me try to remove this key ssh minus r mm. okay i think i'm using the bad syntax for removing the key but we need to type in ssh dash keygen this is only for macbook minus r space the ip address because i was earlier using this server so it says that it has removed now we will log in ssh space minus l space root space the ip address here i'll say yes i want to save it as what is eve temperature is 50 degree it says 42 updates can be applied immediately use this command apt space list it will list the updates okay, let's update it directly apt space update 
So using this apt update command, it will download the latest updates. You see that it is almost done. It will take two three minutes. Apt update is done. Now we'll use apt upgrade. Apt space upgrade. I want to upgrade. It will download nearly two twenty KB and then three MB. Let's see. We are almost done with the installation. We are accessing it over the network. We are not using the KBM console. We are not uh, using the monitor. We can simply manage it from the our laptops. Thereafter, we'll verify the version of this EVNG. It should be the latest one. I'll run a command: dpkg space minus l space ev dash ng. See, the Ubuntu version is twenty point zero four. Okay, it is done. Let's see what is the version. 5.0.1-13 which is the latest control c oh, we need to launch it first of all let's verify the internet connectivity it exists google gmail.com any website of your choice you see it is pinging space this is the folder etc Here they will be EVNG installable. If you don't know the name, you can run the command ls. You'll find that. Let's see where is that. This is that EVNG setup. So we need to execute. This is a file which we need to do. Done. Ev dash ng or you can use tab. What is that name? Ev dash setup. Sorry. Dot sh. Dot slash. We need to use this command. Dot slash. Ev dash setup dot sh remember that actually i'm not very good in this linux things i'm just showing you how to install we just need to install it once we don't need to learn the internals of it so dot slash ev dash setup dot sh it will not download the evng updates and after that we will be able to access it using the browser it is done so let me go to browser this kvm is not needed 192.168.100.147 I think it is rebooting <laughs> Okay let it reboot once and then we'll try to access that let's see from the status See now it is rebooting and thereafter we will be able to access it from here so four or five times it will reboot Okay it is done let me try to access it from here now it has started it took some time maybe for the first time or maybe like i have two connection okay i found the issue actually what was happening so i had two default gateway uh, because of the uh, two wifi routers i have removed that now it should be able to work so because on a laptop there can only be one gateway it, it is working efficiently it took time let me open it from here safari i'll go here 192.168 username will be admin here and password will be eve it is opened up you can create your new lab test save and you can add any type of network any type of uh, let's say you add a management cloud you add a device named uh, we manage here but the image is not yet added you need to provide images to this evng and this is your responsibility to manage the image i can't provide you this is illegal so search in google download from cisco and use it i'll show you how to add the images thank you so much for your time in the next video i'll show you how to add the images how to make it functional